come with me to downtown LA to get some fabrics for the in four days. I already drew up a design. It's gonna look like this. Hopefully, if anyone can do it, it's me. The theme was leather, lace, or latex for like what you can wear to attend, which I love a theme. If you don't abide the theme, get the fuck out. I've been to a few recently costume parties and there's like obviously the people who just want free liquor they just want to party and see the faces that show up. I'm not going to say it, but usually straight men. I'm, I'm just saying, I'm not up for any award, which I kind of love because I'm not like, there's no pressure. We're just going to show up, show fashion. It's fashion meets. Hopefully it's fashion. Hopefully it's not like, don't look at my cupboards, bitch. Oh my God. Okay, let's go to downtown LA. Hmm. Jesus Christ. I got goodies. Okay, okay. First of all, we're trying to make this out of lace, leather, and latex. And I already bought this. I got latex gloves. This specialty black leather. That's kind of like rubbery. Yeah, girl. This is surprisingly only $24 for a yard and it's like pretty big. But bitch. Look at this ear. Like it's like a vinyl. I just thought it was a good like. <laughs> Stay there. Ooh. This one cost me a pretty penny because I was like, I want like mesh pants with like a speedo. Like in the picture where you can kind of see the speedo underneath. I found this mesh that's like beaded are you kidding me <laughs> um that's gonna be like baggy almost like sweaty pants like not skin tight like back stretchy in the ankles and the waist but a tight speedo that connects to the top it's really heavy it's like a baby bedazzled like bag got my little clutch yeah like <laughs> Uh, is that kind of stupid? And now we need to make a pattern because this is too much of an expensive fabric to just go at it, you know? This is a complicated design with complicated fabric. Cause it's like, let's just do a cotton t-shirt. It's like, no fucking bitch, we're X-Men. Gay universe. Okay. And this is the mannequin I will be using for somewhat of some of the designs. And I don't want to hear any comments about Jeffrey fucking Dahmer. Mannequin! I got it from Goodwill. I did not steal him. Why did I touch his bulge? I'm sorry. It's helpful when you are working alone. So let's get started. And his name is Brandon. I'm glad that came together. I mean, that was like the easiest part. Like, it's just like a back flap. Okay, that was very successful. So I'm gonna make a coffee and we're gonna be right back and we're gonna cut out the fabric for the top. Hopefully it goes well. <laughs> Damn. Mm. I sucked in an ice cube. 
Brandon, get out of here. It's okay, but he's built for that. Chalk. Let's do it. Start out with this bad boy. I wanted an orange stripe down the back of this to really like. Ta da! Yeah. Now, before we sandwich them right sides together and turn it out, so we have our little spinal cord tie. I think I want to cut out the stripe that goes down it and sew that on and then turn it inside out. I don't know if that's too big. It's like an inch. Never said those words before. Uh -huh. <laughs> Shut the hell up. Now I have the lovely job of turning this inside out. Sewing tip, like around these are fine. Where it buckles in is where you need to cut some slits because this is a thicker material. If I turn it inside out, it's gonna like pucker. I feel intensely, yeah. Okay, it's coming out on its own time. Just like everyone, this is a great learning opportunity for um, moms and dads out there watching um, a gay bitch online. Let people come out on their own time. Because if you force it or, you know, don't do it the right way, you're gonna break that bond between both sides. I need a pokey stick. Kind of how you get the, your edges crisp, you have to insert into the hole and like jab them straight. Cause it's hard to get this last little bitch out. My camera died, so now you're on my phone. I ended up turning it inside out. It looks really cool. And then this is gonna be like down the back with the spikes on the orange line. Next part is this, right? And I'm gonna cut out the black part connecting here with a little bit overlay here. So this can just be hidden behind this piece. I'm gonna back it all in leather too. I, I just hate myself. I hate my fingers. Okay. Boom. And this shall go in there. Just like that. And then guess what? It's coming out again. The f tape. Now we're gonna sew that. Fuck, it keeps opening. I mean, hey, that's pretty good. Look at that. Oh, this might not cover my nipples. Oh my God. Here are my titties. Ooh. They will be joined in holy matrimony as two. Update, this is what we're working with right now. We got the top that I sewed the both sides front, sides facing each other. And I flipped it inside out from this little seam on the bottom. And then I sewed it shut. And now it looks gorgeous. Do you see the vision? See the vision? Alexa, stop. It's later at night. I took a food break and um, I wanted to move on to a different piece of the outfit. We also changed outfits because I had to greet my Postmates. I have this color and it fits me and I want that similar design of like a free floating collar piece at the top and have like a button clasped in the front to connect it, not like a belt design in the back. Don't look at my legs. Okay, there we go. You see that? It's gonna look like that. There's gonna be an orange stripe here. Do we want it to like come down a little bit or just be like a full stripe? Think something like this, the curved design, not the straight up and down one.
This should be nicely together. It's kind of choking me. I guess it's kind of the fetish. I had to do a lot of testing off camera for it to get to like this point of staying. I had to do the clasps onto a piece of denim, which when it's on all the way, like hides itself. So you... I'll, let's continue this tomorrow. It's like nine. Ugh. It's day two. I need to clean this up so we can work on the pants. And I'm gonna clone another pair of pants of mine because I'm not, I'm not feeling like doing original shit off the bat. Like, let's do it. Let's. I just got a technological advancement, bitch. It's more sophisticated, yet less complicated. Wireless fucking microphone. And now I don't have to hold a little wire cord. Why do I look so fucking creepy? Like, y'all, I just got a new fucking microphone. Michael, I mean, Brandon, get out of the way. Let's make pants. Is there a stretch pattern to this? No. Okay. <laughs> So we cut out the two panel or the four panels for the pants. I'm wondering, should I use this like bias tape or it closes the fabric in so the frayed edges aren't there. I can't even pin this material because it's all made of holes. This is gonna hurt my brain. I like sandwich them to it with a zigzag stitch. So it would like catch as much as I could versus like a straight stitch. I kind of look like the Dune character. Paul Atreides. Have you seen that TikTok where the guy's like, if I had the voice, I would be like, fart. Fart as hard as you can. Fart louder. <laughs> this is what that kind of gives me. We have the pants. They're like ghost pants. Wow, bitch. Are you kidding me? Pants straight out of the mechanism. You are Satan. So that wasn't sewing at all. My life bit. Hit a, hit a gem. I'm kind of gem. Oh my god. Really? Another needle broken. We finally made the pants. They're in one piece. I just need to add the elastic because they'll just fall down. I went to the gym. Look at my boobs. Because I was like, I need to move my body. Cause I just been on the floor hunched over like this. Doing a little sewing task. So I just finished sewing the elastic in, which was a hassle in itself. And sorry, I am wearing underwear. I just want to say, how does fashion feel? It feels fucking good. And they're obviously unfinished and uneven as fuck. Like it did not line them up that well. Elastic sewed on to the bottoms. And I cut a little bit off. They were a little bit, you know. This ankle fucking broke three needles just for that one little thing. This one doesn't do anything. It just was perfect the whole time. Rude as fuck. Look like a little bird cage is now on my leg. I got these orange underwear from a previous studio that I used to work for. And they're a little bit vintage cut. Not vintage cut, I'm gonna try to say. They're not slutty enough for me. They're a little bit, the band goes a little too high on me. I need it like one roll in. They have words on the back, and I'm like, I don't want fucking words peeking through. So I kind of want to flip it once over. I almost threw up. I'm gonna pin it. I'm gonna sew it with orange thread. But it doesn't have like that nice reflective quality that other fabric does. I mean, it matches close enough, but it's gonna be under the fucking pants. But when the cameras flash, I want it to be like coochie flashback. Girl, if we can achieve that, then that will be a supreme moment. The material I bought is gonna make my coochie bleed if I only use that to make the underwear. Let me turn this camera off and come back to you. I, I don't know. Let's see what I come up with, you know? I'm not naked, these are underwear. And this is actually a tank top that I split in half to connect to like elastic that I put on right there. I mean, it definitely gives Halloween colors, but in a more like way. You know what I'm saying? I mean, these pants really turned out. I can't really show you the back back because it's like, but. You're ugly, you're disgusting, I'm gonna kill you, yeah. give me $200. They look kind of cool, like they would look cool under here, but the leather is really tight and the fabric underneath is super stretchy, so like when I put it on, it looked like I had like four butt cheeks, and just tight all in the wrong places. I was like, 
fuck, what am I gonna do? I found this like weird t-shirt I got from Santee Alley and I like cut it up, which I think gives a more combat, apocalyptic look. They're gonna snap in place, but I don't want the buttons to show in the front. So I'm gonna have to find a way to like sew them onto the back or like cut a slit and open this up and like stamp the button into it. Girl, a lot of, a lot of things should have been planned ahead, but this outfit is very complex. And I did not think about that. So we're almost at the finish line. I have no one to go with, I'm going alone. So this is the vibe. Everyone, why does my hair look like that? Brandon, come in the frame, don't be embarrassed. Here's Brandon. So you have the front. I'm, the only thing I'm missing right now, look at the back. Look at them spikes. Really easy, you just screw them in. I didn't know how easy these were to install. But this little fucking shit, hand cranking it in, getting like blisters on my hand, it's done though. As well as, I put it on the collar. Wow. Okay, he almost fell, he just woke up, it's fine. The spikes connect with elastic on the back. I just need now to find a way to like do something with these straps. Initially, I was gonna have them just go into like some kind of waistband, but now I'm thinking move them up like that and just go around the body that way. I need you to trust me in this in this process, Brandon. My lover, just kidding. That's sick. Just have to do that, then we're off to the, it's tonight, tonight at 10 p.m going alone, but you know, I'm just there to vibe. There to say hi to people. Hey, how y'all doing? Outfit is finally secured. I did add clasps here, but they were like flaring out, so I added two. Um... This is the final outfit. And um, I'm ready to go to the awards.